people, 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 people. Ke pa sa sa pa se what they do. Now the first thing that is popping in the news is that we see that a Joe Grind, he was conned up at least 10 times in the face by the man of a woman that was cheating with him. Now people, if you look at your screen, you will see Joe Grind right here. Joe Grind does not exist anymore because like I said, the jealous husband or boyfriend got a hold, got wind of the situation and basically took it to the furthest extent. Now people, if you look at your screen, this is a lady that Joe Grind was cheating with. And people, there's a video, there's two videos. There's a video of when peeping Tom basically spot the rake, like spot a lion. And I guess he would be, or she would be the person that's inform or tell the man, say, listen, your lady basically a next man a walk in a woman, gonga walk. And of course, like I said, the husband or boyfriend, he did not take it lightly. He took it to the furthest extent. Now, people, I am going to let you take a listen, take a look at the video of when Spot a Lion or the Infarmer or Peeping Tom spot them. However, people, in this video, we see that this man and this lady that I showed you earlier, they were going on on people. Like I said, they were not very stylistic like the stylistics. However, they were doing some sort of mama and papa and people, truth be told, you see, so this man is a big body man and this girl is like a big body girl too. So therefore, they might not have been very flexible. Now, people, in the next video, we also saw that Joe Grant was getting caught up. He was on the floor and basically there were at least three persons standing over him and they were letting out all sorts of con like Arville Redenbacher. And you know exactly who that is. So people, needless to say, Joe Grind is no longer with us. And people, even though this incident did not occur in Jamaica, it is very relatable. And why I say relatable, given the fact that it is a culture of cheating in Jamaica, and given the fact that 30%, 3 out of every 10 persons born in Jamaica is born as a jacket. So therefore, another father picked me. So people, why I say this is relatable is because we've seen many cases in which Jamaican men, they are taking out their women for allegedly cheating. We say, say them a chop up the woman them. We say, say them a can up the woman them. We say, say them a be a scally. The all man of evil to these women. So people, the moral of the story in all of this is that be very careful out there. And people, I cannot tell you that cheating is ever going to stop. I cannot tell you that cheating is ever going to ease up. As a matter of fact, it is going to get worse before it gets better. All I can tell you is that don't get caught because some of these persons, them take them poems very personal. And when I say these people, I am not even speaking about the women. I am speaking about the men. I am speaking about these obsessive controlling men that feel as if if them women cheat upon them, they are going to take it to the furthest extent of the law. We are talking about poems justice. So people, the moral of the story is this. It seems as if as it pertains to this world right now, person are like some security guard we are talking about Mr. Watch the Pum and even though they cannot stop it, they are going to do their best. So people at the end of the day, if you cannot be good, be very careful or else you might end up with the like the Ugandan Joe Grind or like a lot of Joe Grinds in a Jamaica. Point blank and period. So anyways people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not a gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now, people, you know that this channel, it is a channel of truth and rights. Truths and rights. 
And I want to see a better Jamaica. I want to see the persons that are out there that are taking away people's life and things be prosecuted or even better yet, taken to the next place. We are talking about the afterlife. However, as it pertains to some of these popo and soldier, we see that they are getting carried away and they are basically painting everybody with one broad brush and people that is injustice. That is not justice. That is not going to solve anything whenever you take away an innocent person. Basically, you are adding to the problem significantly. So people, I am going to let you take a listen, take a look at a video from, I think, Glena. And it shows the mother of a 19-year-old and his name is Kevin Morgan. He was taken out allegedly, unjustly, allegedly by members of the security force, meaning the JDF, Jamaica Defense Force. Some people take a listen, take a look. And this incident occurred in Spanish Town. Take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. <laughs> and put one gun and fire shot out of one gun and then take out one brown cloud and then put it aside of him. What is the name of your son and how old is My son is 19 years old and named Kevin Morgan. What kind of person is he? He's going with one man and child. Uh, if nobody calls him, he will go and tell him. I'll leave everything to God in prayer. God alone, I beg you, give me strength. I will doubt him, strength me now, but then you know. Is that your only son? He's the first one for me. Uncle Kami, he just sent somebody here and I told him, because he got some class up on him, granny. As my hand, the bus lady, bag, me had the phone a ring. And when me had the phone a ring, my uncle said, you know, he said, the soldier just told us all. And I said, God, lie, yeah, tell him, give me strength, give me strength. And one man, I turned to me and said, yeah, but I lost the strength. So I said, I beg God, give me strength. I beg God, give me strength. I just said, beg him, give me strength. Just um, beg him, give me strength. Because without strength, I'm not going to be no. 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 I'm not going to be if you have no work for you, he will go do it. So, he lives by you, right? He lives by me. Yeah. 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 I can't work. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Over my house just on bed. Uh, inside my Kamala husband, then my ear, then he did a play. Then me hear, Pakai, Pakai, Pakai. And I said to him, I want to go on. And he said, Get flat, man. My dad come to me now. I said, you forget to my shot come to the board and you know. And when we go to the gate and peep out, we see the look of board and peep through my shot kind of done and me and peep. And the look of board have been answered. And I don't know where soldiers are sitting, but they must have sitting to me because I just had this man. Then, like, then do so. I said, I kick off in foot, I then kick off in foot. Then just start shooting. That's all I see. And I said, this place, I'm going to go in back. Mm -hmm. I mean, here one girl next door said, I'm so nice, so nice, so nice. I mean, so what you say, I'm oh, a girl, I said, I girl, I said, I'm a son, I'm a son. I want to come out now fully through the gate and go up near. I said to one girl, I said, I'm a Brandon, I'm a Brandon, I'm skinny, I'm skinny. And he put, and the soldier said, go in the yard, go in the yard, come on, come on, come on, come on. You're so ugly. Go in the yard. I said, I'm going in the yard, because I'm going to go to the camp. And he said, I'm going to put one. I said, shoot me. So what's the minute shot in here? I've got shot like a hot bread, I'll drop on the old stuff. Like when I fully and I shot a, a dirt and choke and I was stopped. So is it true that the residents were throwing stones and so for the police? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. What take place should happen like that? Mm -hmm. If you're all a person that you're having a conversation with him, you could have bring him in, go check him out and say what I go on. He wanna say to the soldier, say, you're not too wicked. You're not shooting up him, so the soldier say, Tara Tara, the car, no space, no hope there for them. That's what he said. I said, I'm straight and plain. I said, no space, no for them. Mm. And I said, Blimstone and fire phone. The blood of Jesus is against you. You're not too wicked. You shouldn't have to shoot him. So, cold blood is murder and not to do it. Father God, I'm not calling upon Jesus. I'm not calling upon Jesus. Call upon Jesus. One point I'm there, I'm laying a fire up and shot and sitting. I said, but he may not have a shot now. You could have carried me in Kayan, my whole coast, Kayan, my station. You never have to shoot him. He said, oh, place that he left you all them up there. See what I'm saying? Now, people, this is my disclaimer. There's always two to three sides to every story. 
the side of the security force, the side of the mother and these persons, the residents in the area and obviously this 19 year old he is no longer with us so therefore he does not have any sorts of say so. However, justice should prevail. Based on the information from the side of the residents and the mother, he was shot unjustly. Based on the information from the residents and the mother, he did not have any sorts of toll. Based on the information and the mother, his background check, hard working youths, he works in construction. Now people, don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. It is hard whenever you live in a community and in that community you have criminals, law abiding citizens mixing up together. So therefore it is going to be kind of hard to differentiate. However, the pauper, the soldiers being professional, that is their job to do so. Now based on the eyewitness, a lady, she said that she saw everything broad daylight. She saw the soldier of the man upon him knee. They were speaking to him. And then the next thing that she saw, them box were in foot and basically calling him up in the head. Now, people, truth and the fact is that a lot of popo in Jamaica, very good popo. However, don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. A lot of these popo, a lot of these soldiers, because of their lack of professionalism, it makes them K I L L E R S by default. And the truth and the facts is that whenever these persons go to the uptown era, meaning the Pope and the soldier, they are not going to be disrespectful to the people there because them know that them can get lawsuit. And them know that these people have links and them know Mr. Man that is in the link. So therefore, there could be serious repercussion. However, whenever they go to the garrison, they act the polar opposites. Next thing, people. Based on the information, it is said that persons were throwing stones at the security forces, meaning the JDF, meaning JCF, if they were there, the Popo. And then, of course, you know, that might be the motivating factor. That could be what started everything. That could be what instigated everything. So therefore, the soldier, them, they retaliate. However, even if somebody is throwing stones at you, you being a soldier, you being professional, when you hold somebody, if that person is not throwing that stone at that point, you are not supposed to be the judge, jury, and you know the rest. You are supposed to take that person in and let the law deal with it. There is no way, nobody gives you any sort of justification to do that, to take out somebody cold-blooded. Especially if that person, you cannot directly say, yeah, this person threw the stone. He was in a group of people and people, as long as you cannot identify that person and say yes and even if you can you're not supposed to take out somebody after you hold them you handcuff them and you take them and make the law deal with them however people we sister as it pertains to the soldier and popo sometimes in many cases that is not the case point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine, but let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.